Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at Coffee Traders, coming to us from Capstone Games. Discover the origins of fair trade coffee. Three to five players in about two hours. This is a big, heavy in actual weight, actually, uh, game. And it says apparently here, official two-player variant included. So it looks like the player count here is actually two to five. 1970. It is the dawn of a new era. The future of coffee farming is bright. Empowered with new fair trade standards, small scale, scale coffee farmers from regions around the world have access to new markets. All right, well, there have been a few coffee themed games out there. I can think of a couple. Coffee Roasters is one of my favorite solo games. There's a Viva Java coffee game, but it's not an overly used theme. But oh my goodness, look at all of the components in this box. Ah, wow. Okay. Well, there's a lot going on here. Um, we've got wooden kitties right off the bat. We've got wooden kitties. I think they came out of this bag. But there's, there's, you know, no better place to start than wooden kitty meeples. All right. So we saw those. We've got some metal coins. I'm assuming these are coins. I'm just showing off components at this point because there's so many of them here that I feel like um, we'll start there and just kind of work our way down. Now, these are wooden cubes. I'm not going to spend time on those because there's a lot more fancy looking stuff in here. Here we've got a full color score pad. All right. Very nice. We've got some plastic coffee beans in the player colors. So I'll just show purple because that is usually the color that I play in a game if it is available unless i'm playing with one mr tom vassal who always cruelly takes purple from yours truly it really is shameful all right well we've got more stuff we've got wooden meeples all right we've got screen printed colored discs sure we'll show them off why not look at that Screen printed colored wooden discs. All right. We've got a couple of little cylinders. Don't need to worry about those. We've got screen printed wooden markers. Don't know if these are score markers. Not sure, but there are multiples of each color, so probably not. Here we've got some different meeples of the player colors. All right. A lot of custom wooden components in here. I mean, you're not kidding. With Look at all of these components. All right. We've got what look to be maybe, I don't know, are these donkeys maybe? Horses? Donkeys or horses, I would guess. I think there's a donkey on the cover there, so I'm going to guess that those are donkeys. All right. We've got more, but these are two. So these are thicker. So thicker than the ones, all right? But they're basically the same general idea. And then we've got threes. Okay, so one, twos, and threes, and they are of different thicknesses. So I don't need to take those out. We've got some wooden kind of look like either houses or fat. Sure, I'll go ahead and take them out. Why not? We're already this far into it. We might as well. There we go. I'm not sure what those are. Could be factories. Could be houses. Could be mountains. I don't know. These look like houses. I'm going to go with houses on those. These look like large structure of some type, but nice chunky wooden wooden structures of the different player colors. These look like vehicles, maybe some pickup trucks perhaps. So many pieces. Lovely colored wooden cubes, but I'm not going to take those out of the bag. Other wooden structures of some type or another. Again, these will all be explained in the rule book, but just since so many of these were on top, I decided I would just go ahead and look through these first. More structures of the wooden variety. Woo! All right. Our official two player rules, which would supplement and change up the various aspects of the game. 
All right. Comprehensive Guide to the Industry, the Coffee Trading Handbook. So this looks like our rule book here, and it looks like it's relatively extensive. Okay, here are our different contents. All right, so I was right, donkeys and cats. All right, hospitals, production stations, fair trade posts, farms, and warehouses. Well, we have our answers. Mystery solved. Here's our game board setup, and it looks quite involved. I imagine this is going to be a massive board that I'll probably not be able to get all on camera, but I will show you, you know, I'll kind of scroll across of it, okay? Here's our game board broken down, our player board broken down, places you can keep notes, apparently. All right, gameplay is divided into three periods. Each period consists of six phases. Here we go. Phase one, work. Phase two, workers. Phase three, trader and contractor. Phase four, harvest. Phase five, phase five, contract. And phase six, refresh. And then it goes, as you might expect, into a lot more detail about each of these phases. All right. This looks like a fairly involved game, as you might expect. Okay, goes into a lot of detail about all of these different phases. All the way up through the refresh phase here. And then end of game at the end of the third period, the game ends and players add up their victory points and it shows you all the ways you score points, nine different ways you score points. Then we've got some milestones and a iconography guide. And then they talk about the actual process of making coffee, which is great. All right, whoo, let's look at some player boards, shall we? All right, so they all Look at that, very, very nice. This is nice, thick cardboard. These are fancier than some whole game boards I've seen, all right? So you have those in each of the different player colors. Okay, they both are your, the general ledger for the different colors in the game. All right. Then we've got some cardboard pieces. I will show these off a bit. Okay, so here we go. Wild animal counters, Arabica counters, animal counters, stock counters. Contracts. These are nice, thick cardboard. Okay, definitely not, uh, not thin cardboard. And milestones. All right, so... Not too many cardboard components. Most of the components are made of wood. Now we've got what looks to be a massive, massive game board here that I'm probably going to try to show in sections because otherwise there is no way. Uh, I film these unboxings on a relatively small table. And this is a very massive game board here. All right. So I'm just going to kind of scroll the board across here. There we go. You see this? So much game board. We're not done. We've got more game board. So much game. It's still going! Okay, wow. A lot going on in this game. I like the theme. The components look stunning. The gameplay, we'll see. Who knows? Capstone is well known for heavy Euro style games, and this looks to be another in those lines. So, there we have it, Coffee Traders. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.